What's going on now is the single greatest scam in the history of American politics. A defiant President Trump launching a tweet storm Sunday, writing, I deserve to meet my accuser, the so-called whistleblower, claiming his lies were made in perhaps the most blatant and sinister manner ever seen. The president's outburst coming after CNN learned the whistleblower's attorney sent a letter to House Intel leaders and the acting director of national intelligence citing serious concerns that their client will be disclosed publicly and that as a result, our client will be put in harm's way. Chairman Adam Schiff confirming a tentative agreement to have the whistleblower testify soon, stressing his committees taking all precautions to keep their identity safe. It will depend probably more on how quickly the Director of National Intelligence can uh, complete the security clearance process for the whistleblower's lawyers, but we're ready to hear from the whistleblower as soon as that is done. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi sending a firm message to the White House. Honor your oath of office to the Constitution of the United States. Speak the truth. Don't make this any worse than it already is. Pelosi speaking with her caucus in a private phone call about the impeachment inquiry Sunday, saying, We have to be prayerful, somber, and nonpartisan. This isn't about politics. It's not about partisanship. It's about patriotism. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy says the inquiry is a waste of time. Why would we move forward with impeachment? There's not something that you have to defend here. Other Trump allies quickly jumping to the president's defense. Salem witch trials have more due process than this. The president of the United States is the whistleblower, and this individual is a saboteur trying to undermine a democratically elected government. But some Republicans refusing to fall in line. Former Trump Homeland Security Advisor Tom Bossert saying he's frustrated the president and his team keep peddling a debunked theory about Joe Biden and Ukraine. I'm deeply disturbed by it. It is a bad day and a bad week for this president and for this country if he is asking for political dirt on an opponent. And Republican Congressman Adam Kinzinger slamming one Trump tweet that quoted Pastor Robert Jeffress, implying removing him from office will cause a civil war. Kinzinger writing, I have never imagined such a quote to be repeated by a president. This is beyond repugnant.